So in this video right here, I talked about Clip Studio Paint's new AI feature, and this set the comments on fire. Stop the cap. <laughs> Well, not really, but we did have a dope discussion about the ethics and the ugly side, but then Clip Studio Paint in less than 24 hours reversed their decision for the new AI feature. And it's probably because their comment section was on fire too. And all of this led me down a rabbit hole of thoughts questions, answers, Reddit posts, Google searches. And this is what I figured out. Question is taking copyrighted drawings, images to help AI learn without permission wrong. And the simple answer is yes. And for those of you who do not know, that is how the AI is being trained. It, it, they feed the AI a whole bunch of images um, and whether it be copyrighted or uh, public access images, they're just gathering images. And that is how the AI learns how to actually uh, mimic art. Question two, do artists use copyrighted images? to learn and create their own style. Now I can hear y'all already in the comments. Well, the AI isn't the same as a human. True, it is not. But the way that we learn to draw and create art essentially is the same. We're using the same, almost the same method as in taking in what we see and then creating something out of what we see and whether that be copyrighted images or free public images, we still create something from those images. So on a, on a like moral and just ethical standpoint, it, they're the same. Now, let's say you take 10 copyrighted images and you use those images to create a original piece and you keep on doing that throughout the years and you end up with your own style. Now, didn't that style derive from those copyrighted images? Now, for the most part, this is what AI art is really trying to achieve. Besides those AI models that are just ripping and copying verbatim artist styles, but more on that later. Now I can hear y'all already in the comments. Well, they're actually making money off of those copyrighted images that they stole from artists. True, that is indeed true. But aren't you trying to make money with your art and then your art derive from a origin of copyrighted images? So morally, aren't you just as wrong as AI? Now, when you're talking about this in a legal standpoint well both of it is wrong humans using copyrighted images and also ai using copyrighted images but the thing is legally you have to prove stuff you can go in their database or data sets and actually see the images that they stole see that's proof so legally ai is you know really going to be found guilty on a legal standpoint but just on a ethical standpoint on a moral Listic standpoint, artists and AI doing the same thing, but the AI is doing it at a bigger rate. Now, me personally, I like solutions. So what is the solution to this AI art problem? Is it compensation? Is it delete it all? Hit the delete button and just delete all AI art. Y'all took copyrighted images and we need y'all to delete everything. And so we're gonna go through both of these. Now, as far as compensation, let's say that AI is found guilty. Now you have to determine the value of the things that they took because each marketplace has a market cap market value. And so now you have to get somebody to evaluate the data sets and place a value on it. And then you have to split that up between all of the artists in the data set. And we're talking about billions of images. What you're going to find is that you're going to come up with a number that rivals like a class action lawsuit. Have you or one of your loved ones been victimized by online art scams? We're here at Hemp Art and Associates. We are here to protect you. All you have to do is contact us at 1-800-COMMENT-BELOW or www 
dot like this video and subscribe dot com. If anybody has ever been in a class action lawsuit or been involved in it, you'll find out that what you win is is almost not worth the paperwork of even filing. Like you, you'll get some in the mail. Oh yeah, you you can get five dollars. Oh yeah, 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 you can get ten dollars. That is gonna be the compensation route. You're gonna wind up in, you know, every artist that data set was was took, you you, you may get ten dollars, you may get twenty dollars, you may get fifty dollars. Now let's go on to the delete the data sets, just delete everything because you got those copyrighted images illegally. So we're just going to delete everything. I was watching the Proco podcast and he was talking to an AI, a, a, a guy that is in the AI field. And he believes that even if they delete the whole thing, that they can come back and they can build another one that is just as good with public domain images and also hiring artists. They can hire about 100 artists, 200 artists or whatever to give them their life's work and they can train the AI on those 100 artists. And then also a lot of these different art sites are gonna start adding AI to their art site. And I believe DeviantArt, if they haven't reversed their decision like Clip Studio Paint, they're adding some type of AI art to DeviantArt. And all they have to do is put something in the terms and, and descriptions. You're gonna click okay. You're not gonna read it. You're gonna say accept. And then now all of DeviantArt images, all of your images that is on DeviantArt is now in data set all instagram got to do update their terms and service and guess what all your art on instagram is now in a data set legally and so the thing is as this right here is what we call not the hill to die on or this is a battle that inevitably you cannot win so this this is like this is a fruitless battle i like you and i want you now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way the choice is yours. Well, I don't think you and I will be doing anything any kind of way. Okay, I, I see you choosing the hard way. It really is. The only thing you can battle to do is really to save time. Because like Dion said, we coming. Now let's talk about AI art just simply copying a artist style. Now, this was called to my attention down in the comments below. Somebody made a model out of Sam does art um, style and I found it on Reddit and I looked at it and instantly I was like mm, yeah that's it it, it it hit different right it, it it really hit different and I believe that technically and legally right now that's not illegal right now I do believe they should change this but they should do something to where when you put in the prompt, do something in Sam does art style or do something in Ergo Josh style or something like that. I believe that they should do maybe 60% a person's style and the rest of the 40% is like uh, uh, amalgamation of different people's styles. I don't think they should just do like 100% this person's style because it comes off as just straight copying instead of inspired by, if you dig what I'm saying. Just because AI uh, just does its job so well it comes off as just just copying, which I do believe is wrong. And then another thing is whenever new technology comes out, do you know the first people to gravitate to that new technology? That's scammers, criminals, people who are looking to take advantage of other people. Those are the first people to adapt to a new technology. And you can go back in history, I mean, recent history, look at NFTs. Look at some of the crypto scams. You know, before crypto got big, it was used to, for whole criminal enterprises. So understand, throughout history, anytime a new technology comes out, the first people that is that is going to gravitate to this technology is, is going to be the people that's going to scam you because it's easier to do it. But that doesn't mean that these scammers are going to define what AI art is. They're gonna be rampant on this platform until regulation comes in. So the government comes in and say, hey, well, 
wait a minute, mm, mm, you, you can't do that. That and that, you, you're not gonna do that. Understand that this is a tool. AI art is a tool. And for digital artists out there, listen, and other artists out here, this video, I didn't make this video to convince you to go to AI art or to even like AI art, like what you like. But also remember that if you're a digital artist out there, remember some traditional artists look down on digital artists and still to this day, to this day, they say that, oh, digital art, that's, that's not real art. There's some that made the jump, made the leap to digital art. And they are some of the people that you see on YouTube right now, very successful artists, but they are successful traditional artists who are still drawing traditionally. Traditional art is still sold, it's still valued. Digital art is coming up. It's valued. AI art is coming. And AI art is going to be used to help traditional and digital. People value the work that it takes to, to produce a product. So you making handmade art, whether it's digital art, whether it's traditional art, is still going to be valued. We're going to see AI art. They're going to say, oh, yeah, that's cool. That's great. That's cool. But this right here was human made. This was made by a human. When you look at furniture, handmade furniture costs way more than just factory built furniture. Handmade furniture is seen as really a, a, a luxury. It's a thing to be proud of. Oh, no, this this is handmade. This is not built by a machine. This is handmade. This is how art is going to be. AI art is a tool just like fire. You can warm your family with it or you can burn down the house with it. I'll holler at y'all next time. Believe that.